Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we'll understand our question. The program must accept the space separated string yes and then it must replace all the space in yes with asterisk and at last the program must print the string based on the sorry print the string in a pattern so first we have to get the space separated string as our input then it must replace all the spaces in the string yes with asterisk then the program must print the string in a pattern so the program must create a matrix with column equal to equal to n so here i have missed one thing that is the program must accept and input a integer n then the pro then after creating the matrix with column equal to equal to n it must replace the characters of the matrix based on some conditions so let us take our first test case Here we have the space separated string yes. So first we'll replace all the spaces with asterisk. Then after that we have to create the matrix, right? So for that our column is 4 and R is equal to We'll use the seal operation that is the length of yes divided by n that is the length is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 then 11 divided by 4 is 12 then we have got the uh, rows and columns so here it is 3 because uh, 11 divided by 4 is 3 then so the rows is 3 and the column is 4 so this will be the matrix in which we are going to replace the character of the matrix from the last position that is first we'll take these rows and after this we'll have the other rows then we'll start from here so first we have a then l l after that we have the asterisk then after completing the last row we have i yes and an asterisk then w then after that we have e l l so we'll replace them so after completing we don't have any characters left so we'll replace that zero with ash so this will be our output 
Now let us take our second test case. So here we have column equal to 12 that is n and rows equal to so first we'll replace the spaces with asterisk and for the rows we'll use the seal operation so that is the length of s divided by n so here length of the string is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 so here we have the length to be 29 so the seal of 29 divided by 12 is 3 then the rows and columns would be 3 comma 12 so this will be the matrix in which we are going to replace the characters from the last position so we have m a k make and we have a asterisk then we have h a y then an asterisk then we have the while word so after completing the last row we'll move on to the other row so after that we have an asterisk then the then asterisk then we have sun then an asterisk so after that it shines after completing this row we'll also replace other characters then after completing will replace all other zeros with ash so oh yes we have replaced with ash so this will be our final output Now let us implement our program. First we'll get the space operated string yes. Then we'll get the number of columns. Then we must replace the spaces in the string yes with asterisk. So we will use the replace uh, spaces with asterisk. Then to get the number of rows, we'll use the seal operation where the length of the string is divided by the column. So since we have used this seal, we'll import math. Then now we'll have the matrix the elements as 0 so after creating the matrix we'll have the variable index equal to 0 which will help us to print the characters from the last position then we'll iterate over the matrix in reverse then in the same way we will iterate over the column now we'll check for if the index is less than 
the length of string that is if the character is present and that is uh, less than length of the string we must replace the get character in the matrix so after that the index will be incremented by 1 else if the index of the matrix is greater than length of the string then we must have hash then for row in matrix we must print asterisk row so let us execute our program first we'll run with our first test case so we have got the correct output as we discussed then we'll run our second test case so here also we have got the correct output. Our program has passed all our given test cases successfully. Hope you guys understand. Thanks for watching. See you next video.